Hello, welcome back to the Hashtag Random Network. I am your host, Kyle. Today is a little bit of a different video, and from here on out, the videos will probably be a little bit more different because every reaction I do from here on out will have the full release commentary track to it on my Spotify, which you can click the link down below. It's like I said, the full reaction. So there's a lot more funny jokes that are in the actual full reaction and you can sync it up with your copy that you have at home and you can watch it with it. Either way it works for you. You get extra jokes and you get a nice relaxing voice to watch this movie I don't like with. And every Monday as well. So every Monday will be a new reaction slash commentary track that you can get on Spotify for free once again so subscribe and stop by every monday and we can watch a movie together thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video hold on let me let me uh let me sync it up to where this is about to cut in wait maybe i can do it uh, nice transition 15 years later south africa are you going away to South Africa for your final fight? Like, ain't you from like Compton or some shit? Why ain't playing? Why ain't fighting in Compton for your last fight? Everybody know you're supposed to fight in your hometown for your last fight. <clears throat> that was a nice ass move. <clears throat> you see the vision? Going on how I came in. Stop playing knock him out. Damn, that's so disrespectful. Is that round two? Is, ain't this like a 15 or five round bout? Oh, you thinking of Jonathan Majors? Yeah, Jonathan Majors sometimes come up in my head too. Stay away from white women. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the combination. Ooh. That nigga arching his back? He trying to get the dick or something? Yeah, look at that. Cree 3. This shit opened up like a superhero movie. This is when he about to be the perfect dad now. Look at him. Got the perfect house in Los Angeles and shit like that. They're living off the, uh, living off the side of a Los Angeles mountain somewhere. Maybe I'm just jealous. Maybe that's why I don't like this movie. I want to be Michael B. Jordan. No offense to deaf, you know, people. It's not my preference to have a deaf daughter. If I do have a deaf daughter, I will love her. I just don't want to learn sign language. That's it. Maybe that's where all this stems from. I know I would never want to learn sign language from my deaf daughter. Fuck this perfect ass nigga, bro. You get her to bed? I did. Mm. So I'm not going to lie. I had to bribe her with about six scoops of ice cream. I don't even know how she sleeps. Retirement made you soft, you know that? The ADR made you weak, you know that? Uh-oh, Mr. Majors. He's coming home from prison. This is real life shit, too. That's him li really coming home from prison. Stay away from white women. Isn't this guy a real boxer? Hey, Felix, ven aquí. And this nigga can speak Spanish. <laughs> He's speaking Spanish for, for the Mexican niggas, too. <laughs> Uh, I understand exactly what they're asking. Draco's got a bigger name, that's true. But Felix got the belt. His split's got to be bigger. This is that is probably one of the worst directed scenes I've seen in a while. <laughs> Damien. Michael B. Jordan is a weird enigma of an actor. So there's, the reason why he's so weird of an actor is because he's he 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 rises sometimes to a point of greatness. And acting, you like, damn, this dude's really goddamn good. And then a scene just like that, he will just plummet <laughs> down all the way to the bottom of like, is he even supposed to be an actor? Should he even be doing this? Alright. Oh, easy, easy. Damn, bro. You know how long it's been since I had this shit? How long? How long? 18 years, bro. Damn, 18 years, no steak? understand why you acting like that damn 18 years 
Bro, can you imagine going to prison for 18 years? Your asshole would be too loose to even come back out to shit. Well, he's a fighter, so he would be the one taking ass. Ain't no one taking his ass. I know he fucked the dude once. How did he not get out on good behavior at some point? That's how I know he was fighting and taking ass in the in prison. <laughs> you gotta have your hands full with that one. Look how big this house is. This shit look like a museum. What the fuck? Oh, come on, my You're the Stop the worst. <laughs> Don't mean it. <laughs> Don't mean it. <laughs> Don't mean it. Don't mean it. <laughs> Oh, this is funny, funny acting, funny acting. That's death on death violence? Why don't nobody ever talk about that in the news? You talk about black on black violence. Where's the death on death? Couldn't even hear it coming. <laughs> like that like they're not still kids i mean what did you expect then Donna? she should learn how to defend herself okay I'm i mean if you deaf you shouldn't be bullying people you can't be bullying people if you deaf if you deaf and blind you shouldn't be able to bully people because you have no way of knowing you have no way of knowing when to defend yourself until it's too late so how long have you known each other i mean we old back, way back. We was like, we was like brothers. I think Diddy had a line about that. Play fight undercovers. We were more than friends. We were like brothers. Uh -huh. He got Tessa Thompson touching his ass and shit. See, you know he, you know he directed Tessa to do that. Hey, when you come in, touch my ass. You know he asked me to fight Felix. For real? Yeah. Heavyweight champion of the world. And he wants a shot. Felix is a heavyweight? Listen, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I saw that little Mexican nigga. That boy is not a heavyweight. That man is at most a middleweight. Bantam? Maybe. That's not a heavyweight, bro. Look at them legs. Look at that body. That's not a heavyweight. He was looking so hard, and then he writes in his journal, and they have to make him put on that stained face to make it seem hard. You can't make a nigga writing in his journal look hard. Dear diary, fuck Adonis Creed. I really don't care about his deaf daughters. I, mean, I guess they're building her up for the next movie. Is there, is there a deaf boxer? We should look that up. Okay, there is a deaf boxer. Shout out Julian Quiet Storm Smith. All right, there's been many of deaf boxers. You got Mario Diag Diag Diagta. He's Italian, professional boxer. He passed away in 2009. Okay, he was a boxer back in this probably the 40s and 50s. All right, okay, never mind. There's been deaf boxers. Now those two, Chavez, Drago. I'm gonna make sure that's the fight of the year. They are not in the same weight class. Look, they would not be fighting each other. He's towering over him. But after almost two decades behind bars, he's only now making his professional debut. It's the longest hiatus in the history of boxing, because I'm back now. Welcome back, Damien. Go out there and give him hell. Show him why, what, what prison does to a man for 18 years. Don't show him everything, though. Uh, you know, there's families watching. <laughs> So I was right, he's Mexican. I was starting to feel racist. I thought maybe he may have been like Puerto Rican or Dominican, and I've just been calling him Mexican this whole time, but they showed the Mexican flag, so we know for sure he's Mexican. That's disrespectful. Tessa, Tessa Thompson just be disrespecting niggas in this ring, bro. Is it illegal to punch a nigga in his shoulder? It, that's illegal. That man just elbowed him in his in his in his shoulder on that one. Damn! Damn! 
See, this is why he shouldn't be in fight in there fighting actual heavyweights. Also sponsored by Henny. That that right that right straight was sponsored by Henny. This was a problem that I also had with this movie as well. Is that they made a Damien the bad guy for winning a fight? Like, like why are y'all looking this intently at him? You dog already ain't no making nothing right, ain't no Duke nothing. Like a fix, no. You can't. What? What? You stay away from the gym. You do that. Why are people mad that he lost the fight? What happens if he? What happens if was was it fixed that Drago wasn't gonna beat him? Was the whole fight fixed this whole time? So that when he lost the fight to this new dude, it was like, how dare you? Because that nigga could have fought Drago and the same thing could have happened. Got his ass knocked out. Then what happens? Or you can't see a nigga get knocked out by somebody that you're not friends with or something? Like, what? like I, I, I just don't get it. it this, this, is, this part of the movie to me, just, it just never made sense. That nigga's dead for sure. A heavyweight champion just lets loose an, an actual white hook right straight on you. That's straight death right there. D, you have got to open up at some point. I don't. What you want to hear? On. Some sad story? You trying to feel sorry for me or no, something? No, I don't want to feel sorry for you. I want to understand you. I what are they screaming for? What is happening right now? They have not set this up properly. They've been having the perfect marriage. This whole movie, they've been having the perfect marriage. These two have not fought. They've had no communication problems at all throughout the whole movie. And then Dame be like, hey, nigga, you grew up broke. Which she knew they found each other in the hood. Bitch, you should have realized he was a project kid at some point. I'm just saying, man, this whole movie, he has not had any conflict about any of this. All movie. And then they just have like a random screaming session about this. And he, why, why did you just randomly show him a, a Ralph Lauren <laughs> advertisement while he's driving? Oh, yeah, Ralph Lauren. Damn, I'm going through so much problems. Oh, yeah, Ralph Lauren. Damn, maybe I shouldn't go through these many problems. Hey, Mom. Adonis, baby, you got to get here right away. Mom had another stroke. They have so much going on with these characters. They have not really explored any of these things. Now she's just dying. No one cares about this woman dying. She has not been a focus. They're just randomly talking about this random woman dying. She had a stroke. Why did she have a stroke? Why are they kicking her out of this movie? Felicia Rashad ain't dead. She's still alive. Really? You don't think Felicia Rashad need a job? Don't let him destroy everything you've built. But he's not gonna stop. And this was another problem I had with this movie. Don't let him destroy everything you built. He's not gonna stop. Stop what, nigga? You already retired. He can't come for anything. You're already an established legendary boxer who's done it all. He can't come for anything that you have. You literally have no stakes within this story. He don't got it no more. He retired. He probably won't even make weight. Also, once again, sponsored by Hennessy. Mm, because the hardest fighter that you have to actually compete against is yourself. So it's all about the mirror. That's who you're really fighting, who's, who's ever in the mirror. This man loves himself some Nipsey Hussle, huh? Nigga, the biggest Nipsey Hussle fan, swear to God. I like this part. This this is some great creative direction right here, man. This is the great parts of this movie. The fight is great. Okay, green screen. They should. I don't think they should have shown that part. Go out there, be a thousand screen. Be that nigga. Stop playing with him. Be that nigga, bro. Straight right. 
Haymaker. Hook. Maybe I am the greatest nigga alive. This is just the Black Panther in credit. It, it's, it's made the exact same way. It even it comes in the exact same way. That's the end of that movie. Um, I still don't like it.